This happened when we went out in Dumaguete at night. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chiang from Home Adventure. And this is Dan from Vagabond Awake. Today we want to share you the places, um, the nightlife places in the Philippines in Dumaguete. Yeah, we spent quite a bit of time in Dumaguete over the years and we want to share our uh, favorite ones with you. Um, there's ones that are good for families, ones that are good for singles, ones that are good for live music, some for DJs. So we just kind of give you the, the rundown. Yeah, Dumaguete is um, one of our favorite places in the Philippines. And if you want to know more about the cost of living in the Dumaguete, check out the vagabondbuddha.com cost of living in the Dumaguete. Yeah. Our latest cost of living in Dumaguete. Right. Great. So let's go to check number one. Yeah, so a good place to start your evening in Dumaguete is on the waterfront. Um, right on the water in the downtown area, there's a big walkway there. Yes. And it's great for people watching. And also great for family hangout, out team. They have children practice the martial art. Volleyball. Volleyball. People singing. Yes. Playing instruments. Um, and great people watching. It's good for families, single people. And it's a traditional Philippine uh, uh, way of life. People like to go to parks and waterfronts and walk around and enjoy the weather and food. There's restaurants there. Kind of food cart. Yeah, uh, they place. have a, in the left side of the uh, the part facing the water. They have the like a food cart. They have you can eat the oyster over there, barbecue, ribs, alcohols, you know. And yeah. also they have people doing massage and also pedicure, manicure on the part on the specific places in the left side. Right side. Right side. Oh, sorry. Right side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, so that's a great way to start your evening. And in fact, uh, you could spend your whole evening there and have a good time without any trouble at all. Um, oh, yeah. They also have a Filipinos. Uh, they have uh, um, singing a very cover, nice uh, 70, 80, the music over there. Oh, right. The, you mean the honeycomb? Uh, not the honeycomb. They have a group of the oh. oldest Filipino yeah. singing over there. So you can enjoy the very nice evening on that place. It's very like family, family outing places. Yeah, it's just a big park and a walkway, so you just kind of walk around. Yeah. And then right on the waterfront, um, just not far from the, the walk we're talking about is a place called Honeycomb, which has live music uh, starting at 7 or 8 at night or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's every night. If you uh, Google Honeycomb, it was uh, showing out it's Honeycomb restaurants, something like that. Yeah, and they have a, it's like a cover band that's uh, more than, like more than just weekends, right? I think it's weekdays yes. and weekdays too. Yeah, it's every night, every night. Yeah, it's, it's 70s, 80s, 90s music. Very nice place. They're, they're fun to watch, so you can do that. Yeah, true. And the food also is not bad, and the um, beer also is reasonable prices. And it's right out, it's right on the street, it's out in the open, so it's, uh, if there's a breeze, you can enjoy the weather also. True. <laughs> a, a new a new place uh, since our uh, on this visit we found that's been made is called North Point. Yes, it's a very big like a um, food court area. They have more than like the twenty place. Like they are selling pasta, pizza, Korean food, Turkish food. Um, you know, they have a cafe over there. They have a different kind of food, like local food, Japanese food. So it's a very nice place. You go there. The price is also is very reasonable. And the beer is about like 80 for beer. Mm. And also the food, like a tofu CC is about like 120 peso, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And the Korean food, I eat the barbecue one, is about 200 peso. And also they have um, very nice uh, live music over there and the jazz playing. It's a very nice place to hang out or dating, meeting friends, you know. Yeah, it's also great for people watching and it's, um, it's an open area of chairs and tables between these restaurants and where the, uh, towards the front or the ocean is where the music is. So go check it out. It's a fun place to go. Yeah, true. I like yeah. it. Okay, next up, not too far from North Point is a place called 
hi, uh, hi. <laughs> hi, 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 we'll put it on, on here, but it's like an outdoor um, bar and restaurant, and they have like live rock there or live bands. Right across from the ocean, so there's a nice breeze. It's very packed during the weekend. So if you want to have food or drink over there, you have to go there early. If not, you will be just like us, just buying a beer, stand on the roadside, enjoying the music. Yeah. There's a full of people, full until they come out from the roadside on the you know the the parking side and standing over there and enjoying the band. It's it's nice and amazing. It's like wow. Yeah, it's fun. Check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, as you head towards Dumaguete from uh, North Point, and the bar we just mentioned is a place called Tiki Bar. Yeah, they have two bars over there, another name also they have, but Tiki Bar is so easy to, to find and to look for it. That bar, I, if I'm not mistaken, you need to pay like 100 pesos or 120 pesos for the entry, and it's come with a beer. And then after that, if you want to drink, and so the beer is also reasonable reasonable prices. This is a place that has both indoor and outdoor seating. Indoor is uh, AC, of course. Mm -hmm. Outdoor is under the trees, very beautiful. And it's for a younger crowd, it seems. It's like 20s, 30s, college student age. Yeah. And they're uh, dancing inside. Um, and I was probably the oldest person there. <laughs> no, yeah. you're the youngest one. <laughs> <laughs> and the, those, this place is getting very crowded around 10 o'clock. Until you know, until late night, they dance until like three o'clock, and there's a lot, a lot of uh, young people, mostly like a university, like you say, college people, you know, dress out nice. Yeah, and it's fun to watch those young people. Yeah, and it's it's techno and house. It's you know more modern music. So uh, yeah. and it gets actually the line grows typical in that age group. A big line out front, starting around ten thirty, eleven. So get there early enough that you don't have to stand in line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is uh, in Valencia, the city of Valencia, which I think is, I don't know, four or five kilometers outside of uh, Dumaguete, up a, a beautiful little street. It's a high little elevation. It's a little cl uh, closer. It's called Valencia. There's a park there and there's some restaurants uh, and uh, it's mainly sort of barbecued meats and pork. And, and then yeah. right across from that are a couple of uh, bars. Uh, one's more of an expat, one's more local. Uh, that have Dad say here remind him about Baguio, a night market area with cheap food and cheap beer. Sushi is only 100 to 120 pesos. Uh, that have outdoor uh, like beer, you can just sit and chat. Yeah, because inside the Valencia Park, they don't serve alcohol. So you only have like a barbecue, chicken, lanchon, all this thing. Yeah. But if you want some alcohol, you just step out from the park that like you say the roadside they have two bar it's like a cafe and restaurant over there the beer is about 50 to 60 peso it's very reasonable and very cheap and cold beer <laughs> the yeah. one that we sit is called Soma and we have a vegetarian sushi over there it's very delicious very cheap way to spend the evening. <laughs> True. Beer is like 55 something and the food's 100 pesos. I love that place because it's not too much noisy and it's more like the people watching and local, you know. Yeah. It, it's more like chill place and it's not cost too much money. Exactly. Yeah, so that's a, a, one of my favorite place. But if you don't want to drink alcohol, they also have like a, Coffee, milk. I also drink milk over there. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to enjoy the environment, so I will drink some milk, and they have Coca Cola whatsoever. Uh, yeah. In downtown Dimigeti, we we ended up going to a place called Kaylee because Chung found online on Facebook 
that they had a, a drag queen party and we <laughs> wanted to see what that was about. There, I guess it was the guest stars that were there. They're not there every night, but so we went in there. And, uh, yeah, they have a drag queen performance, so you need to purchase the ticket to go inside and watch. I can't remember how much because right. I believe this drag queen performance is quite popular right now in Dumaguete because they did perform in sideway uh, spot bar as well. You just go to the Dumaguete bar in the Facebook, you know, and then you try to Google when they have a performance, they will post in the Facebook so you can know that which day, which bar have some this kind of performance. But, and it's quite uh, interesting for me because uh, I didn't expect that I would watch this drag queen show uh, in Philippines because uh, this drag queen show is quite uh, easier and to find in the Thailand so um, it just opened my eye you yeah, know yeah. and nowadays a lot of country they have drag queen show already even Malaysia I believe most of the Southeast Asia will have this kind of show performance yeah it's cool to watch some in the Mugeti <laughs> <laughs> a place that we've gone to quite a bit is called Sideways we probably went there five or six or seven times uh, on this two-month visit we just completed yeah um, it's called Sideways. It's near the um, uh, Lee Hypermarket. Lee Hypermarket, yeah. and they have really good food. Oh, reasonable very good drinks, food. live music. Yes, and quiz in the you know some of the night quiz night. Quiz night, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Good food, a reasonable price of drink, cold beer, and a lot okay. of the faces you'll see there over and over again. It reminds me a little bit in that way of the the TV show Cheers. It's that kind of place. Yeah. And it has both locals and, and expats, and so it's, uh, it's a fun place to spend the evening. And they have a True. really good, uh, if you like curries, they have a good vegetarian Indian curry. You can just take the chicken Indian curry as well. All the food I eat over there is all very delicious. Yeah, they have good food. Yeah. Next up is Bibber McGee's. It's a new bar in town. It's an Irish pub slash, uh, I don't know, it's, it's probably one of the nicest decorated yes. modern bars in Dumaguete, if not the most. Yeah. And it's new and uh, it, it's uh, they have a band there and uh, it's known to be more of a late night place, I think. Yeah, and it's, it's a very Instagram place just because of the design and everything. So you like, you're walking in, you, you will not think that you are in the Philippines. Yeah, it's very nice. There. It's like you walk into some European you know, uh, bar. <laughs> and it's an Irish pub, as the name might uh, give you the hint. And of course, in order to be on any map in Google, you have to have an Irish bar in your city. <laughs> and so now Dumaguete is officially on the map. So. <laughs> He's on the map for a long time. <laughs> uh, next up is uh, the Brew Garden. It's uh, a craft beer uh, place. They make beer and serve it there at the bar. And it's, uh, it's on the road between um, uh, like Sideways and Valencia. It's on the left. You. Google it, you'll find it. it's kind of hard to find. It's called Brew Garden, and they have some nice craft beer there. Sometimes they have live bands, yeah. and uh, so it's a pleasant place, uh, mostly outdoor seating. Yeah, the beer is about the craft beer is about like two hundred ml is about fifty peso, and three hundred ml is about seventy peso. So three hundred is like a small beer, uh, you know, uh, drink. So the price so it's reasonable as well. And food is good. I have food over there. Yeah. It's a nice place. Oh. And it's mostly an expat place. Yeah, I would say that uh, over there and sideways spot bar is uh, expat places. Yeah. yeah. Um, and last but not least uh, is the discotheque called Why Not? Why Not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> 
they play 70s and 80s uh, earlier in the evening up yeah. to like 10, 11 o'clock, and then mm -hmm. they switch to modern house and techno kind of stuff. Too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me I'm so It's an official dance club um, And so depending on what kind of music you like You'd go there early if you're more old school like me, or uh, you would, you know, go later in the evening if you like the new electronic music. So yeah, the price of going there, they have uh, they have the the ticket, entry ticket. It's also like hundred or hundred twenty per person per person. Also, is including a beer. The best thing in this club is there's no smoking allowed, so it's a very fresh air inside. Yeah, and it is it is a discotheque, and so there is a dance floor. The music is loud. It's kind of a pickup place. Yeah. So if you're not into that kind of thing, you know, don't go there. But it's uh, if you're new in town and single, and you like to dance, you like to people watch. It's a great place to go, and it goes late into the evening. So. Yeah. It, it, late until late. Uh, this is all the place that we recommend you to go to enjoy your nightlife in Dumaguete. Uh, yeah. If you're curious that how we spend our Sunday in Dumaguete, don't forget to check out the video on here, 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 here. Somewhere. Somewhere <laughs> around here. And don't forget to like, like comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>